so I'm going to show you how to do a video that I did a long time ago. I'm just updating it. It's how to tether your phone to your computer. And I'll make another one how to go with, by doing that, you can connect your PS4, your Xbox, your whatever. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do I'm going to tell you everything you need. You need Foxfy. You can buy the unlimited version or you can just do the trial run which is uh, limited to I think an hour and then you have, it turns on and turns off by itself. You need unlimited data. I have Verizon. It works well for me. If it works for whatever other carrier you have, just leave it uh, down in the description, um, in the comments, I mean. So anybody else who has that carrier maybe can try it and it will work for them. Let's start. Okay, first things first. Go to your phone and download, well my phone's connected right now go to uh, Google and search PDA net tethering and then click on the first one right here click on that link and then click on download and then you pick Windows or Mac I have Windows, that's what I'm going with and it's downloading right now if you couldn't tell and now, since my phone is already connected, I'm uh, actually, oh, wrong one. I want this media. I want that connected. Okay, now I'm going to go to my phone. I'm going to go to either my PC or this PC, whichever one you have. You go to your phone settings, and now from here, you go to downloads. and then you drag and drop and then you can erase it from your phone you really don't need it yes erase that garbage one thing you realize with this application once you start turning it on your, your phone is going to ask you to go to debug uh, USB debuggering and you have to check that off you have to check mark it so the check marks on and stuff like that so let's go with that route now you just install Yes, yes, I accept, and there it goes. Now it's installing. Make sure the app is not turned on yet. Once everything's done, like this, finish. Now, see down here, it's connecting. You'll see a little uh, icon that's black right here. It's going to look like a cell phone. You can click it on that, click it, and then hit connect. Okay, now it's connected. Now let me look at my phone, see if it's connecting. Let's go to that. USB. Okay, it's not turned on. So I'm going to turn it on now. Give it a couple seconds. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure it's connected on the, yep, now I can connect it. That's why I didn't want to connect. And hit connect. And now you see the phone up here, it's connecting. Okay, and now it works. And to show you that it works, You'll see this little icon right here. That means it's connected. My Wi-Fi is off. You click on this. It says disconnect because it's already connected. And the other way you can tell, if you look at the little uh, cell phone, the icon, it has a globe next to it. That means it's connected to the internet. So I'm going to go to Google. Click on YouTube. It's pretty fast, so you get in the fast internet. It's not. It's nothing slow. I'm not going to play no videos because I don't want to get in trouble for it. I don't want to think I'm copywriting. But that's how you do it. If you need any help, let me know. Um, feel free to comment. Subscribe if you like. You don't have to. I really don't care. Whatever. But I will make another video on how to connect that to your PlayStation or your Xbox. I'm going to use my PlayStation 4 because that's what I have. And then I'm going to show you how to do it so this way... You can use your Ethernet cable and connect it like that. 
guys have a good one bye